Hey, hot doggers. There we go. Um, I already posted two videos yesterday, but apparently that doesn't count for my video today. So I'm going to, my video today is just going to be a quick Q&A. Some of the most common questions that I get. Excuse me. Whew. not a sponsor some of the comments that I get most common comments questions that I get in my comments section I want to go ahead and address those right here right now so what kind of hot dogs do I use my hot dogs I get from I get eight to ones which are the regular dogs your regular size hot dog I get eight to one and then my jumbo dogs are quarter pounders so four to ones uh, I buy them from GFS Gordon Food Services I buy them in big cases I think the eight to ones are 82 a case 82 a box and the four to one the quarter pounders are 42 a box they're about 30 bucks a case each so both are eat you know they're both about thirty dollars a case um, and they cook well they're delicious they got a decent snap to them if you cook them right um, again not a sponsor this is what happens when you're this is what happens when you get old this is what happens when you get old and you still go out drinking every weekend. Not a sponsor. Um, hot dogs. Gordon Food Services. Eight to ones for regular. I sell them for three fifty. Four to ones are jumbo. I sell them for four fifty. And it's an extra dollar if you want chili and cheese. 50 cents a piece for chili, chili and cheese. Um, my condiments. What kind of condiments do I use? Or do I have? I subscribe to the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid, or keep it super simple. However you, however you, however you say it. Kiss method. That's what I. That's 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 how I like to keep it. So my condiments are minimal. I don't do slaw. I don't do onions. I don't do any of that other extra stuff. Or like the grilled onions. Um. Although I can now on my new car. Once I get my new car up and going. Um. But I just don't. I don't right now with the least cart. But I'm kind of limited on space. There's not a lot of places for me to cook stuff or keep stuff. So I keep it super simple. Condiments. You got chili and cheese, which I charge an extra 50 cents a piece for. And I pass the dog over to the customer and they top it however they want with whatever condiments are on the table. The condiments I keep on the table are diced onions, shredded cheese, banana peppers, jalapenos, and then in the bottles, I keep ketchup, mustard, relish, and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise was completely new to me. I have never heard of people putting mayonnaise on a hot dog, but the bar manager there, Ashley, the bar manager at the Wild Beaver, she, uh, requested it when I first started and believe it or not it's actually been pretty popular never heard of it until I started doing this um, so ketchup mustard relish and mayo are the bottle condiments um, so eight I got a total of eight condiments not including chili and cheese that's all I have that's all I offer I put it all out on the table, and the customer dresses it themselves however they want. 
Um, I don't do Chicago dogs. I don't do sport peppers and all that jazz. Because let's face it, I'm selling hot dogs to a bunch of drunk people. They don't care. I get I get people I get people who ask for Chicago dogs, New York dogs, all this other stuff. Look, it's not. It doesn't matter. Drunk people will eat whatever. Even the people who ask for a Chicago dog still end up buying a chili cheese dog. Keeps it simple for me. Fills them up. It's a win-win for everybody. Uh, so that's my condiments. Covered the dogs. Buns. Buns are part of part of my secret. Uh, I guess my secret flavor. The, the taste of my dogs. The buns are a big part of that. Sure, you can go to Sam's Club and buy whatever cheap buns they have, the cheapest bun they have in bulk. You can buy the Members Mark 24 buns to a pack. Sure, you can do that. That's fine. And I don't think it'll really matter either way to the customer. But if you watch my videos, a lot of, you'll see a lot of people, a lot of people talking about how great my hot dogs taste, about how how fantastic the taste is. I've got the best hot dog on Maryland Street, or the best hot dog downtown. Part of that, not all of it, but part of that flavor comes from the buns. I get honey flavored buns. Honey flavored buns. I don't know. I think Johnsonville makes them. I think... Uh, uh, I, I can't think of the brand that I normally get off the top of my head. But... Uh, for me, it's imperative that I get the honey-flavored buns. That, that tops off the flavor on my hot dogs. And it makes it, it, makes it different. It gives it that edge. Um, now the other part of the other part of my specific hot dog flavor or my specific hot dog taste is the water that I boil the dogs in. I don't have steam pans on the least cart, so everything is direct heat. Uh, the only burner that I use on the hot dog cart is the burner underneath the hot dogs, which if you watch my videos, is all the way to the right. I turn that burner on, heat up the hot dogs, and, and it gets so hot that it actually heats up the chili and cheese in the middle, and it warms the buns, which I keep in a pan on the far left. So I only use that one burner under the hot dogs that boils the hot dogs, and that, 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 that's hot enough to keep everything warm on my car. And then some. Um, so I don't, do, I don't steam anything. I don't do anything extra. Everything is boiled. Um, now as far as the water goes that I boil, them in, boil the dogs in. If you ever heard of the term dirty water dogs, that's what I serve. I flavor the water. Because if you put regular hot dogs in clean, unflavored water, that water sucks the flavor out of the hot dogs. So when you serve them, you end up getting hot dogs like Portillo's, where there's not really any flavor to them. Because the water sucks all the flavor out. Now if you put hot dogs in dirty water, that dirty water actually flavors the hot dog. The hot dog tends to take on the flavor of the water. They call it dirty water because you're dirtying it up. You're adding spices. You're adding, adding, you know, you can add diced peppers, diced onions. You can add anything you want to add to add flavor to that water. You talk to Ben, Ben Wilson, Ben Wilson from the hot dog store, uh, hot dog cart store. He'll, he, he, he did a, he actually did a video uh, talking about dirty water, and he, you know, he, he suggested throwing beer in the water, adding beer in the water. Then you got beer flavored water. Uh, 
I'm not going to tell you what I put in my water because it's a trade secret. Um, but just know that I got my flavor, my specific flavor, that everybody in those videos, everybody in my videos absolutely loves. One guy said, if you, if you go back and watch one of my videos, one guy said, this, this hot dog don't even need ketchup. It just tastes that good. Um, so I'm not going to tell you how I flavor my water, but if you're going to boil your dogs, I'll tell you this. It's important to flavor your water. That's how you make it your own. That's how you how you create your own brand of hot dog, your own flavor, your own taste, and it's a flavor and taste that they can't go anywhere else and get. So between the flavoring, flavoring of the water, uh, the flavoring of the water and the honey flavored buns, that's how I get my, that's how I get my specific taste, my specific hot dog. Um, so we got the hot dogs, we went over condiments, we went over buns, we went over hot dog flavoring. Um, I've been asked, I've been asked to do a video on how I set up my, my pans, my carts, or how I set up the pans in my cart. I'll do that. I will do a video for over that. Um, I will do a video over that. I might do it, might just do it on my cart cart that I just bought show you how I'm going to set everything up on that uh, I did not go out to the polls today because let's face it I'm not licensed I don't have my own permits yet and I thought that might be a little risky for me to do as much as I wanted to I really want to <laughs> and as great as that opportunity is it just came a little too early. Um, I need to get my I need to get my license and permit, health inspection, uh, health department inspection, and all that. And I didn't want to risk my ability to get my permits by going out there and uh, by going out there and working without without having all of that in place already. So. Um, I could have leased the cart, and I actually called. I called the people I leased the cart off of to try and lease the cart for that today, and they had an event to do, so I, the cart just wasn't available during the day today um, for me to lease it. So that's kind of, and I, I don't blame them. I don't fault them. You know, that's kind of uh, the agreement that I have with them is to work overnights when they're not using their carts. So, you know, I kind of expected that to be the case. Uh, I kind of expected that to be the case. So, you know, I'm not mad at them. It is what it is. Uh, but just to take it on, just to be on the safe side, I didn't do the, I, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the polling. Although I highly suggest if you have your license and you have a cart and you have a, the, the, the permits and everything, do it do it. Just set your cart up right next to where that line goes and everybody in that line is going to walk right past your cart and you're going to sell a hot dog to at least half of the people in that line. So, if you have a cart, you have the ability to do it, do it. Uh, I didn't. I don't have my permits. I don't want to risk not being able to get my permits because of operating without permits. So, it's not a risk I'm willing, I'm willing to take. I just dropped two grand on this cart, and I don't want to ruin my my, my possible any possible uh, any possibility of, of me actually getting the opportunity to, to build you know use that cart to build my business. So uh, that's that. I think that covers most of the frequently asked questions. Gordon Food Services for the hot dogs, honey flavored buns. Dirty water, flavored water, when you boil your dogs. Uh, I only have eight condiments total, not including chili and cheese. I let the customers dress their own dog. I add the chili and cheese because I charge for it, and it's also in the steam table. Uh, but 
if I add chili and cheese, I, that's that's all I'm. That's the most I'm going to do to their dog. Everything else they do it themselves. Chips, I, I have chips. Uh, I charge. I go to Sam's Club. I get them from Sam's Club. You, know, you buy the big box of chips from Sam's Club. I get them from Sam's Club. I charge a dollar or a dollar a bag um, for chips and drinks. I'll buy a case of 24 cans. I charge two dollars for drinks. Um, the only reason I charge two dollars for drinks is because I'm working in front of a bar, right? I don't want to take any business away from the bar. So for drinks, I would much rather my customers go inside and buy a drink from them um, than to buy a drink from me. So that's why I charge two dollars. It's ex kind of expensive for a 12 ounce can. Um, but if you watch my videos, people pay it. People people buy drinks from me if they don't want alcohol in their coat. They'll buy a drink from me. Um, but just to kind of help the bar out because they allow me to they allow me to park there in front of their bar. Um, I don't want to take any business away from them, so I price my drinks high in, in an attempt to encourage people to go inside and buy drinks. Um, but if I, any other, any other occasion, I would probably just charge a dollar for a dollar a can for my drinks. Um, I think that's about it. Let's see, it was 16 minutes. I think that's about it. That's all I've got on the Q&A today. I already did two videos yesterday. This video is just because Angela didn't agree with the whole two videos, one day thing. But whatever. <laughs> So, I'm going to get off here. I'm actually heading downtown tonight. I'm heading downtown right now to the bar. I'm not hot-dogging tonight. Something came up. Long story. It drives me insane. Really angers me to my core. But, I'm not hot-dogging the bar tonight. So, uh, tomorrow night, definitely going to be hot-dogging. I don't care what comes up. I don't care what... I don't care. I'm hot dogging tomorrow. I've got a whole bunch of hot dogs that are frozen in my freezer and they need to they need to be sold. So tomorrow being Halloween, I'm hoping that there's gonna be a lot of people out and I can sell some dogs. So tomorrow night I will absolutely definitely be hot dogging and hopefully it's entertaining enough for me to make another hot dogging video and get back into making those videos. I wanna work my way into getting get back into into those videos unfortunately the bar scene being so heavily restricted right now because of covid it just doesn't make sense for me to go out and lose money just to make videos so uh, that's where we're at i'm heading to the bar now this is my video for today angela 30 videos 30 days angela rumke r-o-e-m-b as in boy k-e Angela Rumpke, go check out her channel, 30, 30 video, 30 days challenge. I'm winning because now I'm one video ahead. <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow.